Peace, I'm back with another video, and this one's about mail carrier whose truck hijacked among dead in Texas attack. And of course, you know, I just did a video about East El Paso, Texas. Now we're going back to Odessa, Texas, about this mail carrier whose truck hijacked among dead in Texas attack. Mail carrier Mary Granados was alone in her U.S. Postal Service truck when she was shot and killed by a gunman who hijacked the white vehicle in West Texas amid his frenzy of violence. So Mary Granado, she was all alone in her truck in her U.S. Postal Service, and um, and of course the gunman um shot and killed her. I mean, of course he was, or whoever the gunman is whatever had hijacked the white vehicle in West Texas amid his frenzy of violence. Granados, 29, was among seven people between the ages of 15 and 57 killed Saturday. Another 22 were injured, including a toddler. So, yeah, so Granados, she was six, 29 years old, and, of course, the people that were ranging from the ages of 15 and 57 they were killed Saturday. Another 22 were injured, including a toddler. So a 17-month-old baby was involved as well. U.S. Postal Service officials said in a statement Sunday that they were shocked and saddened by the events, but were especially grieving the loss of our postal family members. So it was a sad day for them to um, lose a postal family member, especially when you're working for the post office, and and you know, I mean, they're always on caution, alerts, and everything. But I guess Granados didn't realize what was going on until it was too late. And of course, the U.S. Postal Service officials said in a statement Sunday they were shocked and saddened by the events. The shooting began with a routine traffic stop where the gunman opened fire on police and then took off in a gold car, shooting randomly for more than 10 miles. At some point during the turmoil, the gunman abandoned the car and stole the postal vehicle, killing Granados. Police finally used a marked SUV to ram the mail truck outside the Synergy movie theater in Odessa, disabling the vehicle. So the shooting began with a routine traffic stop. And of course, the gunman, it was for a traffic stop that he got stopped for, but he opened, fired on police, and then took off in a gold car, shooting randomly for more than 10 miles. I mean, that's a long miles 10 miles is pretty much and at some point during the turmoil the government abandoned the car and stole the postal vehicle killing granados so he got out of the gold car stole the u.s postal truck and killing granados as well and of course the police finally used a marked suv to ram the mail truck outside the synergy movie theater in odessa and it disabled the vehicle. Texas Governor Greg Abbott said a 17-month-old girl is recovering but faces surgery on Monday to remove shrimp panel from the, her right chest. She also suffered injuries to her face. Abbott said the mother text, her mouth is pretty bad but will heal and can be fixed. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like her jaw was hit, just lips, teeth, and tongue. We are thanking God for healing her and appreciate continued prayer. So the 17-month-old little baby girl is on recovering but faces surgery on Monday, which is today, and who knows how many, how long that's going to take, but, you know, I mean, a baby should never be involved in anything. If you're going to go out, leave the baby with somebody. Leave it with the grandparents. Find a babysitter. 
for anything, but do not bring a baby to a shooting because, you know, this is what happens. And, of course, she also suffered injuries to her face. Abbott says the mother texts her mouth text her mouth is pretty bad but will heal and can be fixed thankfully it doesn't seem like her jaw was hit it was only just the lips teeth and tongue and you know it's just sad that a 17 month old baby has to be involved in these line of fires and they just can't learn to leave the babies at home with a babysitter maybe the father of the child or grandparents or somebody Daniel Manoz, 20, was also, who, I'm sorry, who also was injured, recalled the harrowing tale of coming into the path of the gunman, who was later killed by officers. Manoz was in his car on the way to meet a friend for a drink. When he yelled to a car, Coming off Interstate 20, he immediately noticed what he feared to be a barrel of a rifle in the hands of the driver. So that so Daniel, who was 28 years old, he was injured as well, but he was recalled the hearing of a tale of coming into the bath path of the gunman. I'm sorry, um, he was who was later killed by officers. Um, he was on his way to meet a friend for a drink. And when he yielded to a car coming off Interstate 20, he immediately noticed what he feared to be a barrel of a rifle in the hands of the driver. This is my street instincts. When a car is approaching you and you see a gun of any type, just get down. Moon knows was who moved from San Diego about a year ago to work in oil country, told the Associated Press. Luckily, I got down. Sure enough, I hear the shots go off. He let off a, at least three shots on me. <laughs> yeah, so, of course, Munoz had, had moved from San Diego, and it was about a year ago. And, uh, and he did work in oil country, it, he told the Associated Press. Luckily, I, And he said, luckily I got down, sure enough, I hear the gunshots go off. He let off at least three shots on me. So he only let, so the gunman only let off three shots. It's, he's not exactly clear, but it appears one shot hit the engine, another struck the driver's side window, and a third, a rear window, some shattered glass punctured his left shoulder, causing him to bleed a lot and go to a nearby hospital. He said he's physically okay, but bewildered by the experience. <coughs> All right, so you got a bullet that hit the driver's side window and a third, a rear window. But, of course, there was the one shot that hit the engine of the car. So he was not exactly clear, but it happens. But it appears one shot hit the engine. Another struck the driver's side window and a third, a rear window. Some shattered glass punctured in his left shoulder. So whatever glass is in his left shoulder is going to have to be taken out. Eventually, it has to be taken out. Um, he went to a nearby hospital. He said he's physically okay but bewildered by the experience. I'm just trying to turn the corner and I got shot. I'm getting shot at. Moo Nose said... What's the world coming to? For real? I'm just over here minding my own business, getting my own gas. So, yeah, so that's all he was doing. He was getting his own gas. He was minding his business. Um, he was just trying to turn the corner, and he got shot. And then, of course, he is. I'm getting shot at. 
And then what's the world coming to for real? So those, those are his questions he was allegedly asking. And of course he was minding his own business, getting his own gas. Because you know, a lot of uh, places, they don't um, have people helping you for the gas. So you got to get it yourself, obviously. And this is really sad of what is going on with this world is coming to allegedly. Leave your comments below. I am out.